and welcome to our Creative Gaming Award Show tonight. We're very, very pleased to see you and we're very pleased to be here, right? Aren't yes. we? <laughs> welcome to the Play 21 Creative Gaming Award Show. My name is Manuel, this is... Uh, I'm Nina or Odd Nina. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen us already during the yeah. Play Festival. We had uh, some interviews, we had some snack times, but today, tonight is the night to give away some awards. Yes, it is. And we're actually pretty excited. Yeah. But before we give away awards, there's like things that we do beforehand and we want to introduce you to the games and the nominees and we're going to play them live tonight aren't yeah. we yes yeah we we're gonna have some fun we're gonna play all the nominees this evening together like we did last year nina yeah but we did. last year i was only like virtually <laughs> beside you like like a small head yes, on your desk <laughs> and it's actually pretty awesome that <laughs> you're here this year and yeah, i'm very we glad can, we, can we can actually touch and we are able to sit really close to <laughs> one another and um we're glad that that could happen, but we 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 did another live session the year before that, yes, right? Yeah, exactly. with like a whole crowd yeah. in Hamburg. So we are now sitting together, but we're hoping to see the crowd not only virtually next year, mm -hmm. like but live. So we still have a way to go, but this year this will be our range of choice, right? Exactly. Yeah. But you, could, you can join us or, uh, also on the virtual stage. So please join us on the Play Festival, uh, on the Play Valley. Mm -hmm. You can comment there uh, what ha what's happening here, but you can also comment, of course, on YouTube. And for our German-speaking yes. uh, visitors and viewers, you can use the auto-translation that we all uh, have during the whole um, festival. Exactly. The link is below us. Right up there. See, I can, I can like, <laughs> and then there is the code. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, see there. <laughs> so you enter the code and I think you can even choose more than just the German language yeah. but yeah um, in order for the international crowd to be able to understand us we chose English tonight yeah. so and before we give away the awards uh, like you said we're gonna take a look at all the games yeah. and we let's start playing the games right yes please <laughs> <laughs> so join us and we will show you all the games that are nominated um, the first game is called Alekon mm -hmm. And it's um, from the Alecon company mm -hmm. and uh, from this year. Yeah, and hopefully we will be not only listening to the music, yes. but also be able to see it. Exactly. There it is. Yes. Okay. <coughs> I'm the first one to play. And uh, this is like... Okay. Have you played Pokemon Snap? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> anymore. <laughs> like, it's been, it's been a few uh, years back then, but uh, I heard this is pretty similar, right? Yeah, it, it has cute little creatures, and mm -hmm. I heard uh, you right love there. little creatures yes. and cute little creatures, <laughs> yes. and it's uh, somewhat similar that you have to, to hunt them down, but like in a, in a friendly way. <laughs> yeah, please, let's <laughs> not hunt anything <laughs> down tonight. <laughs> um, oh, Where I do you want to go? I want to go to Cookie Village. Cookie Village. <laughs> <laughs> I tried the other one before, but it didn't work. So yeah. we're beaming there now, and... Uh, I have a camera and I can like snapshot the animals and then they I can like add them or something like that, wasn't it? Is that a horn? Why is there can I go there? No I can't. This is moving like on rails, right? Yeah. Oh. In the beginning. We just have a few technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, there we done. go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Nope. That one? Yes! <laughs> did did you just throw a donut? <laughs> I threw a donut. Oh, and I have to sh sh snapshot them, otherwise they'll fl fly. Like, can I, I, even I have been spending <gasps> the whole day with you and you never threw a donut at me. <laughs> why, why are you doing it now? I mean, <laughs> that's like a skill you can told me like <coughs> earlier. Yes, maybe I should throw yeah. donuts at you. Maybe you'll come to Hamburg more often then. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is actually really cute and I believe the railing, like the this rail thing is This is only like in the beginning yeah, of this the tutorial. Is only yeah. Improved? Did it say improved? Why did it say improved? Okay, I'm so confused. Can I Ooh. can I open that now? It's not saying yet. How do crabs eat donuts? Wait. Like this, right? But no! They but they seem to no. really like them. Aura shell. Um, if you play the game, like in the final, um, like if you're outside the tutorial, yeah. if you photograph them, they, they will join you. Like they in will a team? They assist you, yeah, exactly. Assist me with what? 
I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Let's see. But they join you. Okay, and then I can like choose, or is it just like a big crowd of animals? Okay. We'll find out. You can you can befriend them, and you like you can um, use them for mini quests and mm -hmm. mini mini games, and yeah, oh. they will help you in, on your quest. Oh, that's nice. I want to do that. Okay. A cookie bird. Forgetful nature and single-minded pursuit of cookies make them ill-suited for life. <laughs> oh god. Okay, outside of Atoll Island. All right, so they're fine. Fiction of wanting cookies. <laughs> it's very I cute. I really bird. like the graphics. <laughs> yes, it's very, very cute. And it's only like from uh, three deaths. Only three people did yeah. this. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now it's like introducing all the things. I mean, he's just showing his butt at rear side. You, you took the picture. <laughs> yes, but you decided he was to. <laughs> That little creature the, was this just... This island is full of creatures <laughs> and you decided to <laughs> photograph the to box. To photograph. And there is a Mac Money Homaros Opus in there. Of See? course it is. Yes, because that's what in treasure boxes. And I photograph the behind. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure if it... Did I throw a donut at it? Not sure. Okay, can we go through this? I want to yeah. go faster and want to see more. I want to see more of the island. Yes. Please, please hurry up, Nina. Yes, I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> <laughs> see, there is a beautiful bird. Yes, yes. Okay, can we? Ah, and oh, it's like an, a, a map in the background. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, gosh. I would love to read all of this, but also we would love to see more of the game. I'm so sorry, devs. They're probably watching this being like, oh, no, <laughs> we need a skip button. Okay, I can. Ah, see? You're free to move now. I'm yeah. free to move! Nice. Let's try visit another part of the island. Yeah. Okay. Oh, see, I can, like, I I collected all of them in my little... Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, they, they join you now. Mm -hmm. This is very unfortunate. You captured their souls. <laughs> <laughs> is that something? Did you <laughs> ask them before you took a picture of no. them? No. <laughs> <Maybe laughs> and now they they're, want to take a picture. they're publicly <laughs> <laughs> exposed <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a good thing. Where is the little portal thing? Oh, there. Can yeah. I go faster? Yes, yes, I can run! Awesome! Okay, let's go there again. Click. No. I think you have to ask the guy at the, the fountain. Can I just... Ah! See, beforehand I could just go there. Jolly's Beach. Where did you go oh. beforehand? Uh, Cookie, Cookie Village. Village. Okay. okay, he's now telling me that I maybe... I don't think there's much left to find, he says. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I can just... No. On second thought, maybe not. Now we can maybe go wander? Oh. But I tried this one before and... It wasn't on rail. Yeah. Yeah, but... Ooh. Ooh. No, we did this one. See? This is confusing. Yeah. Where's the beat? Where's the village? Oh, improved. How do you I take pictures, by the way? I... Just click like okay. on the left button and then it does the picture and if I want to throw a donut I just use F. And now maybe Oh that one was a cute one. That one. It also ate the donut. Can really you try good. getting back to the other island? Like yes, I will. But I just wanted to see <gasps> Oh he made it. Okay. <laughs> Finished trip. Yeah. Maybe we can start another trip because that was the one that we did before. But the other one would work. Hopefully, I haven't found a bug. You guys, I'm really good at finding bugs in games, <laughs> which is unfortunate. All right. No, 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 no. No, 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 See, I just want to like push that button. And okay, but I but I can tell you something about okay. the game. It's okay, okay, it's okay. Uh, super creative because you can change like a dream world. Yes. Like if you play it a little bit longer and if you yeah. play it better. Than yeah, <laughs> better, <laughs> better than I do right now. Thank you. That was a crushing, crushing review of my skills. Let's try one more time. <laughs> maybe, maybe we have another time for like <laughs> just one minute. <laughs> They're telling us it's just one minute, and I can't see anything. Wow. There it is. There. Okay. Please, let me go... Let's go to, to the Jolly Beach, even if he doesn't like it. Okay, we'll... Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Maybe that's the, like... Maybe it's now transfer transferring us to the village. Yeah. Hopefully. This is... 
But it's a beautiful looking different game. Different it is. Yeah. And it's very cute. Like the little creatures, I'm not even sure if it's called Animal, are really cute. And I like the soundtrack, actually. And, and it's, it's obviously a game that you need like time to explore yeah. and, and, and walk around the island, collect yeah. the cute little animals. And I'm very curious to find out more about the donut eating donut creatures. Donut eating <laughs> creatures. <laughs> yeah, that's it's actually a really cute game. They did a really good job with this. Great. So it's called Alecon from mm -hmm. the Alecon company. Like I said, uh, three devs that uh, used to work like for um, on games like Valorant and LOL. Ooh. Two former uh, Riot developers. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Curious yeah. that they did like a silent, more more mellow game like this. Yeah, really cute. They wanted to enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the mellowness. <laughs> the mellowness of it. Ah, oh, very All nice. Right. All right, I think we have to switch for the next game now. Yeah. Sadly, because I really wanted to see another one before. <coughs> What's the next game called? It's Hexagroove. Hexagroove. I think it's one, yeah, where you use the game pad. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a musical game. Are you good with music? I hope so. <laughs> I, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not quite good with music, but I'm quite good with like music games, like, okay. like Guitar Hero and stuff like that. You and actually and are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have and like I really rhythm. like the subheadline, Tactical DJ. That, that sounds like very that's intriguing to me. <laughs> that's like, like something, something I never heard <laughs> before, but I want to find out everything yeah. that is a Tactical DJ. The Tactical DJ. Let's jump in. Oh, this looks... Play campaign, yeah. All right, go ahead. Easy or medium? No, medium. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Ease into the world of DJing with forgiving loops and rhythm. Forgiving? Or for those familiar with rhythm games and dance music. Yeah, that's See, totally that's me. you. Yeah. Trans, electro, where's hip-hop? Where's <laughs> hip-hop? Oh, see? So this is by the studio Ichigoichi. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a full-time project of eight months, which is pretty impressive. Should actually. I start practice first? I, w I, will jump, I will jump right in. <laughs> the monitor is keeping getting yeah, black keeping screens, like but black I will screens, try my best. We'll so, so if we'll I lose, <laughs> if I fail completely at this game, it's, it's you, this monitor. You need to listen to the music. Oh yeah, then yeah. I don't hear music. See, the music is getting louder already. Do you already have to do something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, just push a button now. Too soon. Too soon. Wow. Maybe I should start... Uh, <laughs> I, should, I, should look maybe I, I should look for a, a tutorial. Yeah, maybe a tutorial would be better. Otherwise, how to play. How Down to there. play. There it is. Yes. Exactly. So it's a DJ simulation game, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, scoring modes and features. Okay, there's no interactive tutorial. We have to just do the basic then. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just... See? I this is try. a... Yeah, this is a actually... This is hard. <laughs> Liquid. Liquid drum and bass. Drum and bass basic. This is not at all my kind of music. Ooh. Wait, wait. <laughs> they stopped clapping. <laughs> yeah, because like the crowd is like moving and if the music is good. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> you need to press the that one, yeah. Yay! Yes, quick fingers, great, great build. Great build. Nice. Okay, we we are figuring this out together. Oh. <laughs> when to change loops. Don't change blue loops. The audience, the audience is, is enjoying, enjoying them. them. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> so it's not about the rhythm, like, but you have to go more with the music. Yeah. I see. Well, but the developers uh, even said that it's like a complete different experience than like yeah. Guitar Hero and games like that. Yeah, they met at uh, Propellerhead, which is a Swedish uh, music software um, company, so they probably really know their stuff. When to change <laughs> loops, this is important. Don't, Don't change, change blue loops. loops. The audience yeah, is enjoying trying them. them. Change one, two at a time when they turn green, red or are grey. Okay. Okay. And then the <gasps> crowd gets euphoria. Because because like in DJ sets they just yeah, yeah they push buttons at yeah. times when yeah. I don't yeah. play instruments, I, I just keep the flow. I don't play these kinds of instruments, so yeah. But where's the blue 
that's like the down is the blue. They enjoy that, so we just leave it be, right? Oh, okay. And yeah. I, I need to change this one. Yeah, now it's blue again. Green. Ooh. See, the See? crowd is enjoying you. Your oh. music thing. I'm a talent. You're a talent. I'm a natural born DJ. <laughs> you should pursue this. <laughs> if podcasting is not working anymore, <laughs> <laughs> you should just go. I was studying new career. Yeah. Oh, Q mode. This is a Q mode. Yeah, Here like a DJ. Like, like I can cue ah, the next track. Yeah. Ooh. This is a totally new experience. <laughs> I've never thought about music this way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hexagroove. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, you need to spin again. Yeah. You failed. <laughs> this is blue. The gray one. Yeah. And now. Like we, <laughs> we're <laughs> bumping heads. Like yes. Because it's like actually. It's actually good. <laughs> it's actually like not that bad. See, the crowd is happy with me. Hopefully everyone at home is dancing too. <laughs> Just nodding. Oh, oh. Ooh. Fresh, great build. See, they're even complimenting you. Just beat everything like this. Oh. Ooh. No, they don't like that. <laughs> no, they don't. See, I, I like how they, uh, <laughs> how they visualize the yeah. crowd. <laughs> Just like... But oh. I don't get the Q thing. Ooh. Ooh, what's Ooh. happening? This is like classic. Uh, so, so so so. Yeah, so. this is like Guitar Hero, right? This yeah. would be. So much is happening. There is a UFO. It's a lot <laughs> happening. <here. laughs> so now it's it's like it's like tutoring you on things that we already figured out before. That's pretty great. So. It's a, new, it's a new way of it's like a new way, yeah, experiencing never, music in games. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen anything like this. And if you think about how um, it says that they just built this in eight months, okay. <laughs> which is pretty, pretty impressive, actually. Oh. And now you even... It seems like within the spinning thing, you gained a new music type. So yeah. you will have to add music types throughout the game, and then you can like build your sets. Oh. oh. I keep changing the blue ones, and he tells me. Yeah, to you should. Don't do that. Yeah. Because the blue ones are the ones that are good. So now I can decide yeah, you which can new instrument to, to join. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. What kinds of buttons do you need to push? I don't know. <laughs> I think I have to take uh, ah. to to. Ah. And then, then you the have cube. to, yeah, yeah. And then you have to like make the swishy part that I don't know how to the call it. Also, <laughs> the swishy part. The dark so autobahn. <laughs> the dark autobahn. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but that one, that one like grants you success and grants you the new, the new loops. That's actually really impressive. I like that. <laughs> Imagine you could do hip hop music with that. Yeah. I think if, if it's successful, they would join, um, add different music styles and stuff like that. Yeah, probably. I like that it's, it's very minimalistic. Yes. Like it's even though there is happening music. a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think this game, even though we are enjoying trying to figure <laughs> out when to switch loops, <laughs> I think we have to go to the next game. Drum roll. No, no, they're taking it away yeah. from us soon. <laughs> Ooh, I, will, I will keep that playing one this one. That was a good one. Oh. I, I'm pressing the wrong button. B. <laughs> <laughs> Spin again. <laughs> I have to keep working on my DJ career. Yes, yes. But it will be, it, maybe it will be in the future. Yeah, but, but yeah. I, I will download Hexagroove at home and like <laughs> practice for, for just next, practice for next, for next year. year. Yeah. I like that thought. Well, the next one. It's not that. It's it's musical. <laughs> yeah, but it I I think it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's more about noise, as I heard. I I have experience with noise-based games, by yeah. the way. Yes. Uh, two years ago, we had two a game like ago, that. Two years ago, yeah, because the, the crowd was screaming. Yeah. <laughs> but not because of us, because we told <laughs> yes, we, we told, told them, them to scream. <laughs> we told them to, and they <laughs> were just screaming at us. And I think even the person who created the game 
he was screaming the loudest <laughs> from the top <laughs> of his lungs. So that was a really nice memory. I'm not sure if we should scream at our viewers now, no. but we have to make noise. Yeah, it's yeah. called one hand clapping. Mm -hmm. And it's a um, similar game that it's um, meant to make, you have to make noises to control this game. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you're allowed to use more than one hand, of course. Nice. So we can do this or this or this. Can we sing? Uh, you, have to, you have to sing, you have to scream, you can talk, oh you gosh. have to make noises. <laughs> um, um, you can you we control, just yeah. So it's um, basically it's like a, like a platformer, like a jump and run mm -hmm. game, but you control the, the little creature. Oh, there's a little creature and we're hiding it. <gasps> See? Oh, this See? is so cute. Our oh, voices are making a bridge. <laughs> and I like the e effect of it. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, you, you built the bridges. All right. Okay. No, no I need I to. Need to Ooh. Can we take this? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to do both. You have to okay. control so the, you the have little to creature. Play I, will, I will walk with the creature and you can, make, you can build bridges. Hello. But I'm not sure where the bridge starts. La la la. <laughs> la la la. That's a good one, isn't it? La. No. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Can you jump up there? I can jump ah. only a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to scream into this. Okay. <clears throat> la la la. I wonder where the. La. It needs oh, no, to build a new see bridge. <laughs> la 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 la. What kinds of songs am I allowed to sing? <laughs> New game, okay. I think we built the bridge because we talked um, yeah. before we started the and game. And then, and now we can jump, jump, can't jump at it. Should I resume or? Oh, there's a reset there button. There is a reset button. What is the reset button? We don't know. Um, just push any button. Find the reset button. Oh, this no, is so cute. The one. little figure is just like singing itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. La, 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 la. <laughs> See, I built a beautiful bridge. <laughs> okay. I knew you would love this. Yes. yes. Wait, now. Uh, oh, no. Oh, this, this was, was too high. This, this is, is too high. way too loud. I can't I forgot what the, what the recent button was. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just oh, there it is. There okay. it is. Uh, I think this is a perfect co-op game. Yes, like, like we do it. Like because, because one, one is walking and people. one is screaming. <laughs> and this, this is, is so, so cute. cute. Uh, oh. This was too cool. Oh, you can destroy Ooh. the nice. Okay, nice. nice. Yes. yes. I can, I can push, push things, things away, away with, with my, my voice. voice. No, this is too high. Uh, oh, see, oh, oh, there's like a small dot. Yeah. This is still too high. Can you? <laughs> I can't reach you right there. Oh gosh, this is a catastrophe. <laughs> low. No. I low. need to go low. Okay. Low. No. See? <laughs> this is like the, the best <laughs> low bridge okay. I've ever seen. My, My voice, voice is just like too, too loud, loud and too. too I made a little step there. <laughs> I have no clue how I did that, but well. Tr try for, uh, try um, if you can like form a letter, like like an M or something, like like Manu. Like <laughs> like Manu. Now now you're coming with requests like this. I feel. Oh gosh, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Like this? I Maybe. Think, I think that's, this would have been a letter M. A letter M. That's right Maybe. here. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, see! Yeah. I really like this game. <laughs> this is really good, actually. T t <laughs> tell me who made this game, please. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> All right, right, so this, so this is from, from Bad, Bad Dream, Dream Games. games. And, and 
I don't think it's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, we have to we have to destroy this um, this wall. Oh, okay. So I have but to go back. Oh. Down there, so maybe I need to push it with my voice. That's slow again. again. But I have to reset right, right. this now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. All right. <coughs> and um, it's, it's probably, probably supposed to be just with, with like loudness in the first level. level. So, so us, us just singing things. Sing sing yeah, I played yeah, the first level loud. and it was like, like you can raise elevators with yeah, your yeah, voice yeah, and yeah. stuff yeah. like that. Ooh, and and, and like now we're just like with heights. And yeah. yeah, and the little the little guy the is in in the darkness yeah. and you have to keep talking and like talk to him oh. or, or make noises that the, the lights go on. Oh, that's so very, there that's is like an emotional connection yeah. Avatar. Do you have an emotional connection to it? Already. Should I no, try no, if you no, can no, die? No, 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 die. no, no, die. Please <laughs> stop. Because this is what it is. I think okay, you have to yeah, break yeah. this again. Uh, 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 this didn't work. work. <laughs> nice. nice. It's now paying, paying off, off. It's totally paying <laughs> because, off. because I can like, like do tones, tones with my face, face in order to get, to get a little avatar. But, through I, but, but I love that you can still play, play this game even if you don't like to sing. Like yes, 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 you yes, can yes, just, just talk, talk to the microphone, microphone and, 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 and you can raise your voice and you don't have to sing. No worries, you don't have to sing in order to make this. It's even a game for podcasters like me. No, it doesn't. No, 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 you have to go to my side. Oh, you have to yeah. <laughs> we will keep so playing so this. Like. Yeah, this is so cool. I want to go, go further. <laughs> so try again. Okay. Our last mission. Uh, oh, no, I have to go lower. See, there's this oh. bridge thing that I need to. Of course. You have to go to. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Again, again. Uh, uh, You're pretty good at this. You have no, I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah, you're stuck. <laughs> you got yourself <laughs> stuck, <laughs> man. <laughs> and I'm destroying <laughs> all the hard work. I'm all the hard work. Oh. Now you oh, have to get up there. This, this is like a two-part mission. Yes. I have to go up there first. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Nah, it's not enough. No, it's not enough. We, we need to do the next We have to continue now. this game in the oh, next Oh, so time. sad. I would have uh. liked to sing a little more lullaby <laughs> screams at you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> but this game is actually pretty awesome. Yeah. So those were the nominees for uh, most creative game, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. Awesome. Good luck to all those Good games. luck to all those games. Pretty, pretty neat, actually. Um, next. Our next category is the most innovative game. Yeah. And um, we play this, um, yeah. and two of those are virtual reality games. Yes, we so even have um, very oh yeah, we have beautiful ninja masks. ninja masks in order to safely put mat like the VR lenses on our faces. So um, this will be a thing that like I've never done this before ever. So oh, I'm first. Yeah, you are first. Yes, it's it's th the first game is help yourself. Help yourself. I will help yourself. Help yourself, Manu. <laughs> Help yourself to a glass of water. I'm not sure if you can even wear like the hat thing below that, but you should. Should be able to. Yeah. <coughs> Beautiful. So proud of you. <laughs> you can. You guys can't even see it yet. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this a lot. <laughs> All right. So this is by Flathead Studios. I think you you got the the band like is it secure on your on the back of your no. head Manu? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. You're playing like cooperative with yourself. Yeah. I can clone myself. You can clone your like you have to make more of yourself in order to get through the levels. That's pretty awesome. You can help yourself with that. So, can you see already where I'm at? Yeah, we can already see. We can see you standing in front okay. of me too. So this is pretty awesome. pretty fun because I'm I'm inside this uh, shooting range, mm -hmm. but 
as you can see down there, there are two spawn points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these spawn points are only for myself. So I have one of two clones left, so I can grab this gun now. And I have to shoot this, um, this is target. A really neat art and style. I can't reach the other target over there. Oh, yeah. So the thing I have to do, I have to respawn. But down there, that's like my, my, my yeah. first yeah. Um, playthrough. Like, like it's a time loop. Yeah. As Ooh. you can see, it's always doing that what I just recorded, so ah. to say. And now I can respawn over here. That's and as you, s as you can see, He's like handing me the gun. Like I, I myself handing me so you myself had to think the gun. Yeah, I'm so confused. So you had to think. You had <laughs> to think before, and we're like, okay, I need to hand myself the gun, otherwise exactly. this won't work. And there is just one g gun in the whole. There's thing. one gun. Yeah. And like, but I have to use both spawn points to yeah. to finish this level, and I have to hit all the targets. Oh. So um, let me select. That's smart. Let me select another level. Yes, this is like a really smart way to go. Two clones in one gun. Two clones in one gun. This is really this is really smart in um. Doesn't in work. just gameplay, like thinking about okay, do if that you have to like rethink the loops in the right way to get through the level. It reminds me a lot of Portal, where you yeah, had to do a similar thing with yourself in order to get through a level, which sounds weird, but it isn't. <laughs> So, for example, here you see like four different spawn points mm. and a lot of guns, but this is like like a timing session. Yeah. You have to hit all the targets. The gun looks awesome, by the way. Yeah. It's is it loaded with flowers? I don't know what the ammunition is. It looks like a hand grenade, like Ooh, a, like a flower. Like a like grenade. a like a uh, cacti fruit. That's what I I was reminded see? of. Yeah. But this this is like still a level basic level. Yeah. But um, you want something more advanced. Yeah, this is good one. Two clones. This is gun. a good one. Okay. See, there are coming enemies now at me. Not yet. There's Not yet. Black they're yes, still now. waiting. Now, now. But Ooh. the moment I spawn down here, yeah. they start shooting at me. Yeah. So I have to. Um, can you see this? Yes. <laughs> they're throwing <laughs> stuff at you. <laughs> but I only need like one one hit to kill them. But I'm not allowed oh, to get so to get any hits. Oh, <laughs> now I lost my weapon. Oh, please don't lose the weapon. And I have to ah, go now you over have here. Moved this, and now you can just like. I have to wait to to um and you have until to the moment uh, the, the gun is ready for me, and I've. Uh, Manu, I just I just moved myself <laughs> because <laughs> I thought, oh no, it's like flying towards me. This is really cool. Awesome. This is really cool. Yeah. Those the 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 um. This looks more The like guys who built this are from Salzburg University of Applied Science, uh, uh, Sciences. Where's and the gun? They're like, they did this for, they started this for their master's degree, and now they keep developing it. Like they're starting their own company to in order to keep developing this, and there will be a story mode. Now I have to throw down the gun. That's pretty awesome. But I have to like down? catch it in air, in, uh, in mid air. In mid air. <laughs> this is like <laughs> this is stressful too, right? <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Throw it to me, Manu. <laughs> <laughs> Manu no, no, oh I was no! Hit. You died. <laughs> and I can override if I if I die oh. in this uh, spot. Yeah. I can still override and try again. Okay, so you don't have to start all over yeah. again. You can like move away from there, and now hopefully Manu will not die. Oh, Manu, Manu I, I missed the gun. Oh yeah. no! Oh, there you go. Now I have yes, to throw it down to the third one. Oh, I missed the I missed the spawn point down there. Can't you like? I have to do it again. Can't you? I have to start the, on, the, uh, on the top, of course, because yeah. there's the gun. But but if you like, do you only have two spawn points, or does it give you another spawn point? No, every level has like a uh, throw it, throw it specified number of spawn points. Yeah, and I think it's like a very linear game that you you don't have like uh, a lot of different solutions to to solve this level. Yeah. You have to start it at the top because there's the gun, and you have to use the correct timing. Maybe it gets more complex over time, and you've just played like not like all of. This is like still the beginning. Yeah, so maybe it gets more complex. See, you're always like waiting for your own gun to fall. And I like the graphics. It's a little bit like a Borderlands look. Yeah. Like the, um, yeah. Shading. Yeah, that's what I was saying in the beginning. Like the graphics are actually yeah. pretty awesome. It looks rough and cool, and it. Oh, the gun is already here. Yeah. 
Yes. Hit him. Awesome. See, you got four stars for this. You did well. This is fun. This is, <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> but Where's you're not allowed to play too long anymore. I no? was just to yeah, two minutes now. Maybe one. Well, one this level, yeah. One level more. But I have this to figure out where to throw the the gun. I think I have to throw it up there. <laughs> I'm just watching, watching you, <laughs> so you don't like hit anything. <laughs> we we tried the VR thing beforehand, and I had my cups uh, sitting right here, and Manu was trying to grab the cup with the controller, which was really frightening for a second. Where's the gun? There it oh, is. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Did you see that? Yes. I Good catch. Okay. Yeah, you should, because I couldn't have done it probably. Oh, that uh, was a bad throw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed if I will catch that. I will maybe, wait. Maybe, maybe. Maybe if you're lucky. We take a look from here. Okay, but Manu. Yes. Uh, do I have to stop? The, yeah, they will take the game from you. I have to. I have to. F I have to finish this level. <laughs> <laughs> you have like one minute. One left. more minute. I was. This is just so harsh. This is the only harsh thing about this segment of Where's the, the award show that we are only allowed to play <laughs> for such a short time with you uh, for you guys because there are so many. The gun is coming. Yes. Maybe. Please there don't it is. This. Ooh. Nice catch. Yes. You did it. Nice. Okay. Ooh, where am I? <laughs> where am <laughs> I? <laughs> See, this is what it looks like with the mask. <laughs> awesome. You did well. Good job. You're just saying that. No, it was really <laughs> good. You weren't hitting any cups off the table. You weren't hitting yourself into a wall. <laughs> and you caught the things that you needed to catch. And shoot. You hit the targets, <laughs> which is a good thing. <laughs> I'm glad. That so was Help Yourself. Help Yourself. From Flathead Studio. Exactly. Uh, Austrian production. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next one. The next one is called Terror Bane. And uh, with the, um, the, word, the word error mm -hmm. is inside terror. Mm. And mm -hmm. it's written in capitals. So oh. that's like a little bit uh, of a hint. Can we remove this microphone? Because I can't see anything. <coughs> it's from Bit9 Studio. Yeah from Italy. And it's a really fun idea because like the the game is totally buggy. <laughs> but intentionally, you know? <laughs> like you have to fight <laughs> against and and uh, versus the the developer. He's what? like like a, like a character in the game. So yeah. the the game is like a complete surprise every time everything you do. As you can see the title the title main yeah. uh, um, image is even flickering and that's like It is. Yeah. It's like foreshadowing broken. for what is going to happen. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's also one that you play with a gamepad. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're safe with this. And since we skipped the tutorial we will continue <coughs> like with a um, yeah. part of the game. You have to enter your name now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. This one was your wish. Manu wanted yeah. to play this so bad. He was like, I want to play I this. I was really looking forward for that. Yeah. So. Just as I'm looking forward to the next game. <laughs> but. Terrorbane Bucklist. See? There, there, there the it is. The scroll. Why are we playing Bruce buck scroll. games in this, in this nomination? This is strange. Because <laughs> maybe it's not a bug, it's a feature, <laughs> Manu. <laughs> <laughs> this was cheesy, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was Which a one good should one. I. Uh, is there any. Just a normal scroll one, maybe? I think I will take unreadable. this one. Unreadable scroll is. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Sounds intriguing. Okay, Have you so seen like the little the little helmet with the crawly legs? That was cute. Forlorn scroll. The, the developer, developer really, really does keep everything at arm's, arm's reach. reach. Even old and complete drafts of the intro scroll. Hey, the one at the end. Could it be? Maybe this lure puppy function. Not in the demo. Maybe just the scroll thing then. Yeah, just the first one. Can't you? Oh no! Maybe that's an error that we need to figure we out. Have to find out how to start the how game. How to start the game. That's that's. Are we going to be able to do this? <laughs> I'm not sure. Already erroring out the beginning of this. A little bit help, please. <laughs> Matt is like, I don't know what to do. Can we do? Can we do? You can't click anything. Can we? Can you be your own arrow? Error? Error. So this Man. is like the main selection. I, I press return. Um, um, continue. Confirm, maybe. Try again with confirm. I did confirm, yeah, of course. 
MT. Is that your new name? Maybe you have to, yeah. <laughs> what? Really? See? He's even... He's he's making fun of me. <laughs> Rightfully so. Is this really how you want to be called? <laughs> Sorry, M. guys. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is M. You know why? I pressed, <laughs> I pressed the start button and the start oh, button wasn't uh, yeah. confirmed like it used to be. Yeah. But the start button was the, the like options menu. Oh, wow. Yes, this oh is what I want. Mighty oh, that mighty M. M saves the realm. Can you imagine that? This is really cute though with the yeah. with I certainly can't. And that's what I meant, like he's he's yes. working against us. But don't worry. Thankfully I had already prepared a great name. See? He's called Terra Bane. Terra Bane anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> Why though? Whiskerberg. Oh <gasps> this is so cute though. There is a little chicken and then there is a little cow. Can you throw the chicken? I want to kill look, the look, chicken. Look. No, killing. <laughs> Chickens are nice. <laughs> so this at first this looks like a, like a um, <laughs> An classic RPG. JRPG. Yeah, yeah, just like the ones that we used to build. Oh, you're glitching. Am Have I? you seen that? Yeah, you're glitching right in front of him. Oh, now no, our no, technique no, no, is glitching. Really glitching. <laughs> <laughs> we, have to, we have to wait for the black screen. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is oh, see? The door was you, found you found a door! door. <laughs> Which is nice because we can. No, he wants his door back. Yeah. You lost, lost door. door. He's just taking it from you. Heroes <laughs> these days. Bug, bug unlocked. unlocked. Misleading. Mm. So it's, it's like this seems easy to find bugs here. Mm -hmm. Go to the cow, please. Ask the cow. <laughs> Maybe that's a bug too. Do you like games like with this. Um, like breaking the fourth wall and like a game that is about games do you like um, stuff like that in yes i do i remember that i've played games like this before where you have to hack yourself through games where it's like different levels that you replay and stuff like that i can't remember the name anymore but that was a hey, pretty awesome what is this thing. little barrel doing here and in the middle of the room i must have left it there by mistake while placing objects on the map to just like here, look at games let me fix there. Way now he's a from, little guy especially like definitely this better perspective where they give you something and then anything can happen did you see he, he the developer changed the the, the barrel into the barrel this into little figure guy that's not fitting in this art style at all <laughs> and even his <laughs> name is like georg it's georg but we as a we, we as germans are used to like uh, umlaut yes. problematic yes georg yes. george it's it's yeah that's true <laughs> this feels like not unicoded. Everything has mustaches. <laughs> Which oh, is a nice, can you a nice touch. Take a look at her. She has a mustache. Yes. Maybe she's a dwarf. Like dwarf ladies have mustaches in fantasy settings. Oh. What? Where did you go? Did you just like see, see through? through? I was clipping through there. This was. See? Oh. This, this is like cyberpunk. Like dystopia. Yeah, dystopia. Yeah. Fallout. Fallout behind that mustache. Maybe door. that's the next gen version of Cyberpunk 2070. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe even <laughs> as buggy as the real okay, thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> See, uh, you look like a Cyberpunk knight now. Oh, those little cheeks on the helmet. Oh, this is too cute. I love my work. Oh, but it's it seems easy to find bugs. There is even like. Do you see it like in the right upper hand yeah, corner? Yeah, that's like a real bug. That's no, like that's a, a spider. That's, yes, it's a that spider was the helmet that legs. I was ta talking yeah. about. It's like hidden behind the play 21. Yes, we saw. <laughs> I'm purposely ignoring our. <laughs> Come on, press. The, no, now he's Matt. even talking like in game. Like the, the, the on, character in game is asking me to press the Y menu. button. Yeah. That's actually a smart way to work with gaming and to make the gamer think about what they're doing while yeah. they're playing the game. So th he's like, like this game is forcing you to rethink your game, even though you're like given this world that. And because it's the creative know. gaming award, yeah. you have to find creative solutions yeah. and like think around. This, this uh, is, a, the this the is actually a good one. Think outside the box. That's, that's think what it's called. <laughs> think outside the game. Oh, see, Ooh, there's code behind there. There's the matrix. Yes. What is it? But as you can see, even like we played like for a couple of minutes, and yeah, and there's, there's so a lot much to unpack it, already. I want to find out everything and what <laughs> what there is in this game. Uh, I, yes, because it, like it even it's not 
hard to find the bugs, but I can imagine that there are special ones that you have to like yeah. figure out in a different way. That's pretty nice. It's a neat game. Okay, I'm I'm just preparing myself for for the VR for session for my the next for one? my next one because I know that it's just like a minute left. I think you can already go over there and you just want me out of <laughs> your way. <laughs> I want to play this <laughs> in silence and enjoy. Yes, this game. enjoy enjoy <laughs> the game in silence. Not me asking you to take doors away from houses. He's not even giving you the door back. No. Yeah. All right. See, there we go. That is Terrobane from Terro uh, Bit, Bit9 Studios. Yes. An SNS style, like okay. as you can see, JRPG, but with a twist. With a twist. With a twist. This is a really con like confusing thing for me to put. And now to something completely different. Completely different. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going to move away now. Wait, wait, wait. That's okay. All right. The next game is called Tentacular. It's from uh, Fire Punched Games uh, from Germany, and it's a VR game as well. So Nina is uh, yes, getting I'm getting into my mask. In I'm the getting ninja ready. mask. I feel ninja-y. And oh. tell me, <laughs> how much do you like <laughs> octopus? <laughs> I don't particularly hate them. I don't particularly like them, mm -hmm. but I think they're really cool. But I couldn't imagine playing one myself. Until now. This is changing today. I'm so glad that <laughs> they're not yet switching over because this feels weird already. <laughs> Matt is just like... <laughs> okay. So I this. can tell you what the game is about. Okay. It's yes, a, please. It's a, a game about a gigantic um, but good-hearted tentacle beast. I'm, I'm not gigantic. talking about Nina. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, but it's true. It fits r really yeah. well. Rather and well. And the huge tentacle tries to find its place in the in in this in the world. world. Yeah, and that's that's, that's kind of cute. The huge tentacle monster Nina is yeah. trying to find the way or their place, her place, their place. Okay, can we And gameplay wise it's like like a um how would you d describe it like a, a, a physics puzzle game? Oh, I need to like an immersive puzzle? Probably, is it? It feels like so. Thank you. We oh, this can is see a lot the better now. Okay. <coughs> yes, this is my arms. Okay, Nina see? is ready. Let's switch to the I'm VR. ready. I was already showing stuff. Can you see this? Yes, we see your it's awesome, huge isn't tentacle it? arms. Yes, I have two huge tentacle arms and I can like <laughs> touch stuff with it. Also, I can move around and oh, 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 oh. this is already weird. Not sure if I can... And you don't <laughs> have fingers, right? Like you <laughs> yes. have like... Huge <laughs> tentacle arms, but are they... Um Pull to start. Okay. Ha! See, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Mollusk industry has a lot of money. Okay. So... Do the tentacles stick to, sto uh, to yes, start? Yes, they yeah. do. Like, I can... Oh, I can put them on stuff, and mm -hmm. then I can, like, pull, and then it will... On there. Okay. I don't know the word for it. I can, like, also... Okay, I will show you the world. It's really... <laughs> I can show you the world. Here is a playground. I won't do this, but I will touch people. I have to move this up a little. Okay, I have like the possibility to do quests too. Mm -hmm. And oh, oh, I didn't want to hit you. I'm so sorry. Please move <laughs> over a little. Thank you. I can pat people on the head and then they will Aww. talk to me, which is really nice. Yes. Replay strange matter. Okay. Thank you, little one. Oh. <coughs> I'm so ready for this. <laughs> this is really, really cute, and I can like. Oh, what did I do? Did I, I just like do that? I uh, like the tentacle even See. has a, like a background story. It, it was does? raised by humans. <laughs> That's <laughs> like. The best this is just story. like me. Yeah. <laughs> I can okay, I can like pet that one on the head. Come on, come on in. And this little guy wants to help me find my origin. Mm -hmm. Pleased to meet you. So, do you have any idea? Mm. What you've done. <laughs> what have I done? I'm so sorry. No. I don't. You No, I don't. I'm just... Okay. You have discovered something. An alien ship, presumably. That is not from this Earth. Obviously, I'm not from this Earth. Look at me. I'm tentacly <laughs> in the middle of the local dump. And it's my honor to research your wonderful discovery. This is one of a lifetime chance. Okay, nice. Can I touch him again? Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't hit him so hard. I was told I can kill them, actually. Oh, no, don't. No, I don't want to. See, I want to scooch the his The developers head. worked for two and a half years, and you tr <laughs> all you can think about is, like, <laughs> <laughs> killing like people with Killing them. I'll repeat. Okay, I can... I, 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 what? 
This game has actually a huge amount of story, by the way. It doesn't look like uh, that from the from the beginning. Yeah. But there's oh. a huge, like a, like I said, like like a huge background story about how you grew up as a tentacle. Secure the and ship. I'm trying to find out where I should go. Like, I oh, there is a boat, and I don't want to. I can't go there. Okay, this is already. This is the oh, whoops. Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. I don't. This is the reset button, is it? Okay, no. Back to the city. No, I don't want to do that. I want to. There's supposed to be like this. There's a rocket up there. Yeah. Let's but exam examine where is the spaceship. The spaceship? Left is on this? Your left. No, on your no. left uh, above you. There it is. That? Is it? No, this doesn't seem right. I can't. <laughs> Can you hear the sound that it does? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Seriously. Can, can you can you move around in the, in the world? Yes, but not very far. Like oh I okay. wanted to go there, but it won't let me go there. Oh no! Now I can see. Oh, oh there is a wall. <coughs> so, oh gosh, this is very close. <laughs> and there's like this place, mm -hmm. but I can't move I it. I like the sound of it. <laughs> you like the sound of me yeah. swooshing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so weird. And like I can't. They build it all for you, Nina. I know. Oh, this. Th look. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> look, <laughs> look what I found. Because there's this thing about tall people mm -hmm. not being able <laughs> to see things below their waist. <laughs> this this is just looks <laughs> like a, like a uh, leftover from, a from an alien spaceship. Yes, and I was supposed to secure that. I did now, but I'm not sure how to. My tentacles won't <laughs> let me. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is looking how you <laughs> yes. throw around okay, your arms. Okay. Oh, 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 sorry. It's flying away. I'm we have to sure put it somewhere, maybe. Yes, but now it's gone. Now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just broke this. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This wasn't planned. <laughs> I have too much force. Maybe I can reset this. Yes. Yes, danger reset. Even hard to press the reset <laughs> button with ten seconds like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do it like this. <laughs> okay. Ha! Ah, two tentacles. Okay. Now, where is it? No, I have to talk to him again. Aha! Uh -huh, come on, come on in. Yes, yes, yes. I'm professor. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, I know. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yes, you have discovered. Yes, thank you. Now he's telling me all over again. <laughs> Sounds just. Oh, this is just perfect. Can I now find... See, there it is. Okay. There it is. One more try. I can activate my tentacles. <laughs> and now I can put it at two places. Okay, wait. Yes, where should I balance it? On the On tip, the tip. The tentacle. Like, how? I'm trying. See? Whoop. Mm -hmm. This is going well. Sh where should I put it? <laughs> right here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not even sure what's... Oh, Maybe see I should there put it in there. there th three sockets down there. Yeah. Yes. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh. pretty promising. <laughs> yes, but how am on I... On the left, there's like a display. Um, you have one of four goals achieved. And you have to connect those yellow... I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is You have to put it, it in inside but the how station. But this is like in the way. Can hmm. I... I think I no. one part of the alien ship is open. Maybe I need to move it. Okay, wait, See? like this. But from the other yep. side. Yeah, exactly. Oh gosh. Can't you Darn move around? It. No, I can't move around there. I have yeah, to. This looks promising. You know. Yes, maybe. Wait. I'm so confused. <laughs> 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 this is just. <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> move. <laughs> I'm not sure if this We can see inside your tentacle. Yes. Yeah. Yes, which is a really nice thing. Okay, I can, like, maybe I can... Pull it through, yeah. Ah! Oh, but dumped. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This twist, is not... Twist and turn. Oh! I'm so scared that it will fall. This looks good. Yes! Yes, maybe! Like... The whole world is excited <laughs> for you. I know, I'm excited for myself, too. <laughs> Come here! I need you! This is very stressful. Oh, this is, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is so stressful to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you use your hands, Nina? Yes, I'm <laughs> not sure because <laughs> they're tentacles. And I can't... 
Oh, I could have opened this. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This would have oh, no. been so oh, no. much easier, Nina. I feel like a failure. <laughs> okay, I will just put this back in there. And maybe <laughs> maybe this was a little harsh. Okay. <clears throat> do we have time left? No, probably no, we don't not. Have time left. Nina. <laughs> this is so sad. I wanted to do this. I really did. Okay. We appreciate it. <laughs> I know. I know you do. Oh, please come back to me. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh god. I'm having too much fun with this. Yeah. You guys did a great job. <laughs> take Nina awesome. away out of take the VR. Me in, take me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just stay a big tentacle monster yeah. for the rest of this show. So, ah! oh, so this painful. was our uh, <laughs> let's play of all the six nominees. And <laughs> next up is uh, going to be the award show, oh. of course. But before that, we will have a little medley of all the nominees uh, from the wonderful oh. video game jazz band called Endgegner. And we will take a look at that now. Have fun.
back already are we back yes welcome back Hi. to the creative uh, gaming award uh, yes. the music you just heard was from the amazing uh, band video game jazz band called endgegner, endgegner. which is like <laughs> <a> boss, like <laughs> endgegner the german word amazing and all the titles you just heard in that medley was were from all the six nominations and yeah. nina we have three awards to give away <coughs> yes we have three awards today there is like this one which is the most inno innovative innovative i've practice this innovative newcomer which is about um how or it honors artists and how they approach the game and what they did most creatively to achieve their game so that was that is one of them yeah. and then we have the the most creative game. yeah the most creative game where which is where li like the gamers can interact with like in, in creative ways exactly and yeah. then there is the um the favorite of the people. <laughs> These, the, that that is like the one that uh, is not being chosen by a jury, but that you is guys. being the audience award. Yeah, that yeah. is being chosen by you, the audience. You guys are choosing the audience award either here at our location at the Europa Passage in Hamburg or online. Yeah. Right. And you can yeah. still join us there online and. Uh, chat in the uh, yeah chat yeah in the chat. chat and chat <laughs> in the <laughs> chat <laughs> just what you do and, and give us feedback and join the celebration exactly and um this is the seventh time mm -hmm. we're giving away our creative uh, gaming award is given away and uh, this is our first time moderating the, the award intro. itself yeah. exactly before that we were the ones playing them beforehand okay. <laughs> so now we will uh, guide you guys through the to the award show yes and to take a little bit uh, take a look uh, behind the scenes yes we have two guests beside us G exactly because um there have been a lot of games sent in and people need to play these games in order to m make like a choice about what games are being nominated and then there is like this whole thing about that I don't even know because <laughs> I'm not <laughs> part of that. But our guests are, and those are Steffi and Jo. Hello. Welcome. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> now you, y they can see you. Um, you guys have had a whole journey of gaming before you like chose the nominees. And how many submissions were there? Oh, you, you, you oh, you need like, oh. where is our? Oh no! <laughs> 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 we need exactly a microphone. There we go. Okay, now again, Steffi, <laughs> go ahead. Yes. Um, so we had like a, uh, yeah, we had one hundred mm. and forty-six submissions from thirty-six countries wow. all over the world. Amazing. Yeah, actually, it's that's pretty. Tough that's to play lot, through. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, how did you approach that? Like, like you, you, you two are from the um, award committee. Yeah. How did you approach this? This huge amount of games. Yes. Um, I think. Do you want to answer that? I think it started um, with uh, the submissions, and um, because I'm also part of the social media team, it was uh, really fun to um, look at like Twitter and Instagram for, um, spaces where you can push the submission notification. And I really have to give a shout out to, um, hashtags like, um, screenshot Saturday and, mm -hmm. uh, pitch a game. Yeah. Uh, keep this up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, really, really awesome to see when you, um, when someone submitted their game that you had on the radar, yeah. Uh, we had a notification in Discord and we really had a, a, a little inside party whenever <laughs> one of them uh, submitted their games. It was really awesome to see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. like you're not allowed to approach uh, the developers directly? No, we, we didn't, yeah. but uh, <laughs> we knew in which bubbles to spread, yeah. which yeah. Discord servers uh, had a lot of indie game um, publishers and uh, there we spread the message that you can submit now mm. yeah. and remember then when the deadline were and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if w as soon as like all those games rolled in, how did you approach? Like, I can't imagine you two playing all those games by yourselves. <laughs> like, I can imagine it, but that would have been a lot of work. And if you did play them, did you eat and sleep? Or <laughs> <laughs> were there more people helping? <laughs> no, of course we didn't all um, together. Uh, we, we were uh, four people on the team yeah. uh, for the awards, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, s 
so we before we uh, divided the, the games, we, we played. Actually, we did play every uh, every submission. <laughs> <Impressive>. um, not <laughs> everyone played 146 yeah. games, but yes. we tried yes. to divide it up. But yeah. we also had help yeah. um, from our wonderful playtest community. Um, they were amazing. We like we invited um, people to join the playtest community uh, from from age uh, 13 and up. So mm -hmm. also teenagers could join if they wanted to, and yeah, they could test the games and write us reviews and um, it was uh, yeah we, we had about 30 playtesters yeah and it was um, astounding like they put so much more effort mm -hmm. in there than we asked for like they <laughs> wrote in depth um, reviews yeah. when yeah. Uh, yeah like it would have been enough to just rate in different categories and mm -hmm. they they wrote long comments uh, it was Awesome. So thank you, playtesters. It was <laughs> great. <laughs> yes. And what did you do with the feedback? Mm -hmm. uh, from oh, the yes. Um, <coughs> so, of course, we still had to decide nominees. So mm. playtesters didn't do that for us. But, um, yeah, we could look at those, uh, at those ratings, at those mm -hmm. comments. And it was such a great help because um, it, gave us s um, it gave us very diverse perspectives. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, Four people have um, different perspectives on games, but um, yeah, thirty-four <laughs> or more. Um, mm. Yeah, that's that's better. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And did you decide the nominations before the jury came in, or is that, that a part of the jury? Yes, um, we did uh, decide the nominations, and then we just gave it over to our wonderful jury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so. <coughs> if there is like this many games, how did you guys decide what games will be nominated? And was it a tough one? Like, of course, it's a tough one because there is a lot of very creative games. But how was your process in choosing those? Did you have like a point system or a huge Excel thing where it was all written down and then rated? Or how do you, how do you manage, basically? Okay, I'll start with the answer. I'll give it then to you. Um, <laughs> so, <coughs> oh, how how did we decide? Um, like we had, of course, we had we had our our um, categories that that was like um, um, how do I say it? So, so we could see okay which games. I mean, the the award most creative game is for players mm -hmm. to is for the players to get creative. So yeah. we at first our first look was okay which games do allow creative mm -hmm. freedom. Yeah. And um, yeah, of course, the mo most innovative newcomer is um, how are they newcomers, and are mm -hmm. they uh, did they do something? Did they do something creative? Yeah. And yeah, we had a big uh, yeah, we had a very large um, large document <laughs> with <laughs> ratings <laughs> and <laughs> comments, and it was yeah. hard. And I think uh, yeah, you want to add something. <laughs> I think it was about eight hours uh, divided onto three to four days mm -hmm. that we discussed and we reviewed them <laughs> again and again and uh, discussed about uh, what games had the most creativity in it. Yeah. But it was really a hard choice and um, sometimes a fight between us. Mm -hmm. A fight? You, did <laughs> you didn't fight, <laughs> right? <laughs> not, not, not you really. Fight, okay, fight, okay, okay, um, okay. Friend fight. We had to <laughs> argue a lot why this and yeah. not the other one. Yeah, I can um, imagine. So it was really hard. And I'm really, really glad that we didn't have to decide which one mm. will win. Mm -hmm. Yes. But of course, uh, because there were so many games we wanted to give a shout out mm -hmm. to, uh, that was the reason we created the honor of mentions. It's the first Ooh. time we had them. And even this was hard because um, <laughs> Maybe you know there are 12 honorable mentions yes, because we couldn't that. cut it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. We wanted to start with six, mm -hmm. but it wasn't possible for us. There were so many games uh, that needed to be mentioned. Yeah. So we had to make the cut at 12, yeah. but we had more than that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, well, thank you guys for all your work. and. Mm -hmm. uh, like you mentioned, um, the the jury decided exactly. which games will win tonight. Um, so, 
Shall we talk to the jury? Yes, I would really like to meet the ones that have to make, the, like, had to make the decision because I could not. No. <laughs> so. so thank you guys. Thank you for being both. here. And yeah. we are switching now to the jury members, and exactly. uh, we say welcome to Bethlehem Antene, Helen Krüger, Paolo Pedericini, and Timea Tabori. Hi guys. Hi guys. Can you hear us? We can see your faces, like back <laughs> there. <laughs> But we can't hear them. Yeah, we can't hear them yet. Hello. Are you there? Alicia. You're I allowed can, to speak. I can see <laughs> Helen nod <laughs> and Timea <Dimea> too. <laughs> so our question would be, if you can hear us, um, how did it all come together? Like, how did you get nominated to be part of the jury? Who contacted you? And um, what was it like to be to be the jury of this Creative Gaming Award? Oh. oh. I'm not on mute anymore. That's awesome. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We can hear you, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Great to be here. Hi. Um, Hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm Helen. Uh, I'm part of the Game City Hamburg team, which, uh, of course, many of you might uh, know from. Uh, oh, now you're mute again. Now you're mute again. Who muted you? <laughs> I can see the mouse Did pointer. You? Yeah, there exactly. Helen. That is so rude. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> so rude. That. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. No. Um, yeah, I'm from Game City Hamburg. Many of you might know us, uh, especially if you are from Hamburg, uh, and we are supporting uh, the Creative Gaming Awards. So uh, we were also asked if we would like to be a part of them. And so that's how I ended up here. Uh, it was a great pleasure. Thank you again. <laughs> how did how did the jury uh, work work this year? Like, uh, we guys see you virtually now. Yeah. Was every uh, jury session like totally virtual, virtual this year because of Corona and p the, the pandemic? Uh, yeah, we had a great Discord channel mm -hmm. uh, that was put to good use, I'd say, and that's where we had our meetings and heated discussions. Heated, uh, I can yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'd say such discussions are always heated. Yes, um, yes, yes. So was the choice a hard one? Definitely, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Timia, would you uh, like to yeah. give you two cents? <laughs> yes, sure. Hi, everyone. Hi. My name is Hi. Timia. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Yes, it was it was very difficult. I mean, lots of great games, even just looking through the honorable mentions list, we can see that it was a hard choice to whittle it down to these final nominees and to make that final decision was very, very hard. Um, but I think we all had a blast playing the, the nominees and discussing everything. And um, yeah, still a hard choice, but a great time was had by all. Oh. So yeah, so you already mentioned that there were a lot of heated discussions. How, like, How heated was it, and was it, <laughs> and was it in the end like was everyone satisfied with the choice that was made, or were people like not so pleased with what was chosen? I'd say over time we 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 actually conversed pretty you know unanimously on the mm -hmm. on the on the final choices. Um, you know, certainly lots of discussions as we were making our choice, but in the end, I think we all were happy with the final decision. Mm. That's a good thing. What did you look for in the games, like for the two different awards? What was your like, like your focus, uh, focus on the game? What did you su uh, look for? Uh, if we could just hold that thought, I think Paolo uh, also has some opinions he would like to share, but uh, he's not able to join the meeting right now. I think someone mm -hmm. has to admit him. Uh, would that be possible? People we'll are that. moving to our right, yeah. <laughs> which usually means that someone is trying to figure something out. We would keep on trying, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is life, guys. <laughs> this is life. This is just this is just how it goes. It's the real deal. Yes. Oh yeah. See? Pictures. It's all are coming moving. together. Someone is joining, I think. Yeah, there we see one. Hi What's there. What's up? Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I was locked out. So nice we can hear you and we can yeah, see we you. Can so hear you. But like only half of your face. Good. Yes. <laughs> T tell our audience what was it like to be in the jury was it a hard decision of course and how what did you look for in, in the games you nominated uh, there we see one i think paolo can you hear us this moving around is yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell our audience what was it like to be in the jury was it a hard Oh, it's a delay. Mm -hmm. I it's heard a myself. delay, yeah. Let's wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't hear us. 
Maybe Timea, you can answer that, that yeah. question. Sure. What, was it hard? Um, no. Uh, what was he looking? What, what were, were you, looking you for? guys looking what were, for? Sorry. What, games, were, yeah. what were we looking for? Um, so I guess it depends on the category, right? So for the um, the, the most creative award, we were certainly looking for um, a game that allows the player to express their own creativity in new and different ways, um, and you know, to maybe maybe doing things that are um, you know particularly engaging for you know for 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 your creativity and to and to put your own unique twist on the game in some way mm. yeah. um, and then for the most innovative newcomer um you know we were just looking for the team whose debut game was something that is fresh and unique and brings a new idea to the table that mm. we've not seen done often before yeah mm -hmm. helen what what is innovative was that like one big discussion point in in, in the jury oh yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> There are lots of opinions on uh, that term, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say I'm a bit more lenient. Like if I talk about innovation, uh, I'm fine with it being a thing that has been done before, but not in this context. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm certain there are other opinions on this topic. What was the solution if you uh, guys hit uh, uh, like, like, like a roadblock? Like, was there some point that you guys couldn't decide uh, what was your strategy? Like, yeah, especially let, let's like let's 50 stop, 50. let's play the mini uh, the, the game again, and let's meet tomorrow again. Or how did this? Uh, how did you approach this? Maybe Paolo has a chance to talk. Have you have you told your audience that we are not the only jurors? Uh, that we only had to pick one among uh, the six finalists, uh, and there was probably a big network uh, of volunteers. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. amazing. Okay, yeah. So yeah. like that was uh, that was I think uh, uh, great and interesting because uh, we already had like a, a rather narrow selection mm -hmm. to pick from, uh, and so like. Um, Yeah, there are less variables, uh, and also like a smaller ju jury, I would say. Like I've been to, uh, you know, like uh, IGF uh, juries mm -hmm. uh, that are like those can be like really intense. Mm -hmm. They can go on for weeks <laughs> because on or like on the, on the Nuovo jury, which is the sort of like the innovative uh, award for the uh, you know game developers uh, uh, IGF essentially, and uh, yeah big discussion about what's innovative uh, and uh, what innovation is, right? So in, the, in our case, I think uh, the moving parts were uh, not so many. And so it was like, I think, I think it was like a nice discussion. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys for all your work. And yes. uh, we're very excited to see who will win. We see you back in a minute. Yeah. Uh, we will continue our show with the, the, the topic about what can the most um, newcomer, the, the, the most newcomer, <laughs> the most newcomer. <laughs> what are the newcomers <laughs> winning? So we will talk yes. to that uh, person now. Uh, thank you guys. See you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> because uh, that's like mm -hmm. uh, uh, really highlight the most innovative game, they, yes. they, they win a very special prize. They do. Um, because it's like an, an award that is focusing on um, the newcomers. Innova yeah, on yeah. the newcomers and the innovative games, um, especially throughout those who haven't uh, had that much experience, there is this uh, thing that is actually really good. They're getting help yeah, they're throughout their way. They're winning for a mentorship. Yes, a mentorship. And that's like the most... Uh, Yeah, that's like, that's like a really valuable thing to it win. It is, it If is. If you have someone, you can ask questions about the development and stuff like exactly, that. Exactly, and, and also use their network and yeah. their experience, which yeah. is a really um, important step in actually getting your game on the road, especially if you yeah. want to develop it further after uni or whatever. And you know what? We have that person here. We have that we mentor do. here. <laughs> so we say hi to Jenny Bergen. Hi. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> hi. Hi there. So yeah, introduce yourself, please. You're mentoring, and who are you exactly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is Jenny, Jenny Vergin. I'm yeah. um, currently the, um, so I'm currently working at Medium Board mm -hmm. there as a funding manager. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I do. The other thing is I have an indie game channel called Two Into Indie on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I'm also doing Let's Plays and everything. I'm part of the games industry since seven years. Yeah. Um, I also worked at bigger um, e event companies like the one who's hosting the Games Week in Berlin. So yeah, ma many things to 
mm-hmm. to help you with. Huge network. Yeah, oh, huge network. That's, that's like a good a, thing. <laughs> a great thing. How did you how did you get approached for being a mentor? Um, wha- 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 were you surprised? Were you happy? Tell us about that. <laughs> oh, I, I was really honored, <laughs> to yes. be honest. So because I really love helping um, young teams, but they don't have has to be young. So mm-hmm. sometimes they are experienced in another way, you know, like people who just joining the industry currently. And that's what I'm also really like about my current job. So. Mm-hmm. I'm always helping teams and that's why I'm really proud to help you guys. Yeah. And yeah. The, the newcomer team, will they, will they be like, how can I imagine, like they, they get your personal phone number, they Hopefully. can call you a day <laughs> and night? T- any time. How does this mentor, <laughs> mentorship work? Yes, of course, they can have my number, they can have my private email address, we can make some calls just uh, to know each other if you never met before, Mm -hmm. because maybe we met somewhere, and then just Discord calls, or we can phone, and you can ask me everything, I can look things up for you, and yeah, we will see what you need. (laughs) That seems really nice. In your experience, what is uh, the thing that most indie studios or like newcomers uh, really need at the beginning? money <laughs> time, to be honest. can you provide that James? oh gosh yes <laughs> and, well uh, yeah i think most of the time they need help with marketing mm-hmm. and contract things or localization studios if they're really new in the industry they might don't know some good ones um yeah they need um some helping with uh, law related things yes. and also for that i have really good people i know mm-hmm. that i can recommend um yeah so all kinds of things like that has but most of the time it's all about marketing and money <laughs> so well has anything changed on that topic throughout the half like one and a half years that we've um that we've now survived basically um mm. did anything change in the in the um way uh startups like can work or has it stayed basically the same so on the let me say funding side of things yeah. everything stayed the same almost mm-hmm. but what really changed is the marketing things via events uh, meeting journalists mm-hmm. and going to i don't know gamescom or other smaller events like egx um so that's why it's not that easy if you don't have a network to just met someone the other but let me say the good part of uh, the pandemic is that um, many things are online so everyone can join everywhere in the world and that's uh, a good thing i guess Mm. and i hopefully it will be hybrid in the future Mm -hmm. i hope so yeah Yeah. i think we all learned a lot during during this pandemic that it's fun Mm -hmm. to have uh, on 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 location-based events and networking is sometimes easier but there's a lot of benefits also like uh, going hybrid right Mm -hmm. yeah yeah great so um thank you jenny for your information and uh, good luck with the mentorship yes yeah thank you (laughs) and thanks for having me yeah (laughs) of course (laughs) bye so sure. let's let's find someone who who can g- get Jenny's <laughs> private number, right? <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, that, wow, that's that what is, it is. Yeah, right? that's what it is, basically. Yeah. Just um, I think uh, Bethlehem and Timia are the ones to, to give um, back to the jury. Yeah, to give back, like we give back to um, Bethlehem and Timia, so they can announce the award. The award. I'm excited. Yes, I'm. T- I'm actually too. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So I, I, unfortunately, I think Bethlehem is having some network issues. So mm. for now, you can only have me, but she might show up. <laughs> but let's carry on with the show. So hi, everyone. My name is Timia. I'm very honored to present the most innovative newcomer award, a category where we saw developers new to the games industry knock it out of the park with their unique and fresh ideas in their debut projects. Let's have a look at the nominees. Oh. We are Melle, Dani, Arnold and Philip from Flatland Studio and we're the developers behind the VR game Help Yourself. It's really awesome to be part of the Playfest 1221 and we hope you all have a great time. If you want to try out Help Yourself, it's available right now on SideQuest and the Oculus App Lab.
Okay, there's still a few bugs in here, but uh, why don't you take a different path? Hi there! We are Bit9 Studio. Andrea, Matteo, and Luca, who's here in spirit. <laughs> Did you know that our developer character in the game has been built around our collective personalities? So, in a way, we are the bad guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> try the demo to find out. And please, See have fun. Wow, what a lineup, right? <laughs> From embarking on a journey to understand our place in the world while helping out our human friends in Tentacular, traveling through space and time to solve mind-bending puzzles with our different selves and help yourself, to fighting and squashing bugs on a meta adventure beyond that metaphorical fourth wall in Terrorbane. All these games prove that you don't have to be an established developer with multiple titles under your belt to create something engaging, fun, and innovative. The Most Innovative Newcomer Award celebrates new creators who didn't settle for the established tropes, but achieved something different beyond the status quo. As we all stand here by you today, the biggest common achievement we recognize in this category is honoring games that allow their players to be inspired, to dream on, and come as close to fantasies and players' freedom as possible, fading limitations. The creativity and uniqueness of all these entries was refreshing to experience and renewed all of our excitement for the future of games. Thanking you all on behalf of all the future players for poking their curiosity as you did ours. The winner of this award didn't just bring one novel idea to the table. They kept us on our toes at every moment, surprising and delighting us in equal measure while taking us on a wild adventure, blurring the line between players and the developer. Drum roll, the most innovative newcomer award goes to Terrorbane. Okay, there's still a few bugs in here, but uh, why don't you take a different path? Wow! <laughs> wow! Come, come together, guys. Get yeah. together. That's We're right. We're actually Thanks. all here, uh, but you can't see us no. <laughs> because you know we wanted to honor our game by being as glitchy as we can, even in this <laughs> live stream. Uh, I, we are speechless. Uh, our team is a three-man team, and this is our first commercial <laughs> product. It's been a long journey, and to be here, to stand here, having all of this recognized of us, it's truly, truly great. It's yeah, an honor. Yeah, thank you very, thank much. You very much. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations to you guys. guys. <laughs> Seriously, like we were just like <laughs> cheering and doing the drum rolls and everyone was clapping. So that's that's been fun, awesome. And, and I really love that even like the acceptance speech is glitchy. <laughs> yeah. That's like full on brand. Perfect. That's full on brand. That's Congratulations. true. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Have so, a good time with Jenny too. Yeah. That was our <laughs> yeah. first award. That was the first award. And we have two more. Exactly. And before we go to the to the uh, jury award, we have an audience award to give away first. Exactly. Yeah. Like just as I said before, not only the jury is uh, doing awarding stuff, but also the 
the, the main audience, audience is. Um, and yeah, well. Yeah, and w for that, we take a look back into the virtual space reality with uh, Matt. space, exactly. Yeah, Matt is showing us around in the virtual uh, world. He's chilling right now. Because because like the audience the could could vote inside the virtual um, yes. hub. Yes, they could also vote like right here, where uh, at the Europa Passage in Hamburg, where. But not everybody lives in Hamburg, Nina. I know, and you don't. Right? I would. I would love. <laughs> you to would really. love to. I know. <laughs> it's very nice uh, whenever you visit. But <laughs> all those people who are not like able to just walk into our. Um, festival here in Hamburg, we're able to do that virtually. And that see, is actually Matt, Matt is already dancing behind us. <laughs> He's having way too much fun. <laughs> just waiting for you. <laughs> oh, then go ahead. <laughs> you can just Hi Matt. That well, I mean, it's, it's nicer to beach, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Waves and everything. <laughs> so <laughs> It's very good to have you. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Good to be here. <laughs> good to be here, right? Okay. Um, so yeah, so we're at the beach, as you can see, uh, right in the, in the middle of the, well, actually at the side of the play valley, as you can see. Um, and I want to take you with me because there, are, you know, uh, any game could have won the audience award. Uh, people could come in here, and I don't know if you played it. Uh, look around; there are already some people here and still, still playing mm -hmm. and trying to decide. But uh, of course, we we only have you know one winner of the audience award. Sure. So sure. sadly, but yes. Yeah, yeah. So so there were multiple votes uh, which we counted. So and it's always nice not to just uh, not to just name the winner, but also you know the the lead ups, mm -hmm. uh, and we will go to them. <laughs> I, I like how this evolved. Like 2014, we were running around the exhibition and like yeah, putting little yes. stickers. Yes, little stickers, like <laughs> little on green dots yes, on the right, bottom. Right, and now right, look yeah. at this. Like yeah. this is a whole universe. I think this is actually something that we can positively <laughs> take away from the pandemic in this kind of yeah. space. Like that, how it's, how it's built itself. But the up audience to award grew too. bigger. Yes, yeah. it grew bigger and it grew more accessible too. Would you agree, Matt? Obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously, right? <laughs> you're, you're with us. Uh, like, we're just looking into the nothingness, of course. There's <laughs> the one that we're... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's also nice because now the, the exhibition is open for, yes. like, uh, all the time. You can just go here and play all the games. You just click on the play button on, on them, and then they open up. So that's mm. that's pretty cool. Um, but, of course, we want to know who won the audience award, yes. right? Actually, so yes, we do want to know. Actually, the audience award was won uh, by some games which are featured here right at the award oh, so mm. uh, they were all in there um so but which one right so okay so third so one so the nominees gave them gave like they were s they were already the ones that were played most and liked most by the people yeah well played most liked most liked most uh, yeah yeah well. so so they yeah, they're, they're like 50 hidden games in there, or yeah. you know, some hidden games. Yeah. Uh, so that's interesting that the selection we chose here mm -hmm. uh, is also the ones people voted for. Yeah. So uh, let's go for the thir uh, third place. I have some numbers with me, right? So um <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Death Trash is on uh, place uh, three. Uh, yes, lots team. of people voted for Death Trash. Yes, applause. Applause, <laughs> applause, applause for Death Trash. Really amazing awesome. game. Yes. Really amazing game. It's uh, 9.6% of the uh, people voted for Death Trash. Wow. Uh, but at the same time, 9.6% nine, uh, 9 as well voted for... Uh, oh, that's a good way to show, you know, the, the honorable mentions as well. Okay, to explain, you're clicking through <laughs> yes, the honorable mentions <laughs> category. I'm clicking right, through right. the honorable yeah. mentions, right. Okay. Uh, so... I have to click a lot. There we go. And Time Bandit is also third place with a 9.6%. So Yay! applause for that. Applause. <laughs> Good job. Yes. Um, second place. <sighs> we're, we're still in the same same area. But we're leaving the honorable mentions. We're leaving. Yeah, that's true. Huh. Second place was uh, Tentacular. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> with... 21%. That's oh, a that's lot. Pretty, that's a lot. Yeah, that's okay, pretty good. Okay, so but but who you know won uh, won the audience award now? <laughs> oh, it's very hard to position myself. It's oh wait 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 wait. Let me let me go to the middle because <laughs> I I brought with me the award of course. Uh, oh, you brought the award? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I can I can <gasps> spawn an award here. You can uh, spawn an award. Let's go there. 
most innovative audience audience there. yes we, w we want to have the audience award right so drum roll which one goes to help yourself Yay! Yay! <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. Help yourself. i think we have them in the line as well Ooh. so let's switch over to them maybe so they can say a few words hi can you hear Hi. Us? Congratulations, you won the the audience award. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's, it's really an honor to to win the audience award here. Um, I'd li I'd like to thank our awesome community who who voted for us and our parents, our university, and everyone who supported us and helped us. That's awesome. Tell us, uh, what what inspired you to make a game like that and and, and a virtual reality game where you can co clone yourself? Uh, like we we spent a lot of months coming up with different ideas and prototyped a few, but uh, scrapped them for because we couldn't find a good idea. And I I really don't know anymore how we came up with the idea. <laughs> but but once we got it, we 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 said that's that's the one we're gonna make this. Yeah. And when were the moment where where, where it clicked? Can you remember, like, like okay, you guys realizing that was the moment we, we know and, we had a game. And that is the game that yeah. we want to develop that far that we, like, go on and actually make money off of it, maybe in the future. <laughs> um, pro probably the moment when we released on SideQuest by accident. <laughs> by accident? Um, <laughs> by accident. And, and suddenly, we, suddenly we, got, we got downloads and five-star reviews and were featured by the store. Yeah. That was the moment when we when we realized that this could be something. How do you awesome. release a game by accident? Like this, the uh, side quest thing. <laughs> <laughs> did you just like, like, did someone push a button while they were half asleep? Like this or one? <laughs> <on my desk? laughs> like this one, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we had it on side quest, so our u university uh, peers could test it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they changed something and they couldn't access it anymore. So we had to put it public so they could access it again. Yeah. Okay. And so we just released it. <laughs> so you, get, you released so it. So you by get accident. instant feedback and then you realize <laughs> okay, we have something in our hands. Perfect. Yeah, yep. Perfect. Yep. That's pretty cool. Hopefully it will go further like that. Hopefully you'll um, develop it further because Mano obviously had fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we wish you best of luck. Yeah. Good luck. Thank and you. And congratulations again. Congratulations, yes. Nice Thanks. nicely done. Awesome. Whew. So we have one more thing before we go to the to the last award. Um, That's true. Yeah, um, we want to introduce Game City again, right? Yes, because they're giving us the money. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> They're sponsoring our wonderful festival. Yeah. So and we welcome uh, back yeah. Helen Krüger with us. Exactly. Helen. Is Helen still there? Ah, she will. She will. She will okay. Be. She will be here shortly. And uh, I don't know what to say. I think she's she's beaming in. She's right beaming now. in. Oh, I can see her. She's just waiting. Yeah. She's already smiling. Helen, can you already hear us? Probably. <laughs> yeah, but she well, can't yeah. talk. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> she is. Ah, there we go. Helen, Hello, welcome Helen. back. Uh, yeah, now it's time for a word from our sponsor. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And we're very curious to hear. Yes, please. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, no, we just wanted to say once again how happy we are uh, to support the Play Festival and, of course, the wonderful awards that you give out um, because you showcase so many of the wonderful and original games that are out there and that don't get enough attention most of the time. Mm. I mean, yeah. just think about how many passion projects like get pushed out every year and how few people get to see them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just a tragedy and we're glad that you are taking corrective measures. Um, and also... <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <laughs> That's uh, <we> have... <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, uh, we at Game City Hamburg, we have quite a, a big heart for newcomers. So we're really happy that there is that wonderful newcomer award. Um, like I said, uh, our heart beats for them because uh, we also have the incubator program, for example, um, that offers funding and lessons to young teams so that they can enter their next project for your creative gaming awards. So Game City Hamburg and the Play Festival, it's a match made in heaven. Mm. It is, it is. And we're really, really, really glad that this has been another like play that was made possible by you backing it up. That's pretty awesome. Thank you so much for this. In the name of Thank the whole you. team. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> we're glad. <laughs> so, um, bye, Helen. See you yeah, next oh, time. Bye, Helen. <laughs> See you soon. 
and we have we still have to talk about this one Wha like why? this this is an, an an award but <laughs> is it though <laughs> is it though <laughs> is it of though? course it's still a work in progress and for that uh, i think Kemal has to come to our desk now yes Kemal yeah. has to come over because yeah just come over here yeah just come can you can you just like <laughs> move right here because Kima we take it Hello. Yes, <laughs> he, he is the one who did you this are you responsible for this one sir yes you are uh, yeah are i am yeah, yeah. <laughs> but is it going to go like that to um to the winners or like as a we need a chair yeah yeah now i have a chair oh, nice. so <laughs> maybe maybe start with like introducing yourself who are yes. you yes hi i'm Kemal. Uh, i'm part of the award team and um I've thought about uh, with the whole team what can we do as the award for this year. Ah, it's hard um, because we had every year we had a new award, and now we thought hmm, it would be cool if we had the same award for every every year. So, mm. so the same trophy, so like the same yeah. trophy. Yes. So everyone can see. Oh, you wanted this, mm. and it's the same, and it's so you recognize it from mm -hmm. the trophy and it took and you seven years to come up with this idea yeah the the first one i made was uh, made out of um how is it called plexiglass in, in english is it the same i don't know plexi sure. plexiglass, maybe. plexiglass yeah maybe, maybe. and uh, the second one in 2020 was uh, 3d printed mm -hmm. and uh, yeah now this one is a combination of uh, resin glass and uh, not leds this exactly. <laughs> like, like not, not this is like one this one that is this is cardboard this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you for telling <laughs> us <laughs> we, we we almost missed that <laughs> so did it taste good yeah it's it's a very tasty award yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. oh there's the number of jenny on the back <laughs> oh, gosh. so what what happens like uh, do you yeah. send them to the to the uh, yes winner? yes okay. so it's not only like the the cardboard, the version. cardboard version, yeah. or they, the they they'll get version. a real physical trophy, trophy, yeah. <laughs> with like their names on them too. Yeah, oh, that's engraved, nice. engraved. Yeah. That's so nice, though. And how is the process to make an award like yeah. that? If if I say I want to give out an award, like do you print that out first, or do you like make uh, sketchbooks? Who who makes awards? <laughs> 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 uh, I made this. Uh, <laughs> I made this one in Blender. I mm -hmm. thought about uh, what do I need. Uh, the controller is. Um, our sign and I thought this has to be on the trophy yeah. and then I thought how could this be more beautiful and thought about other trophies I saw and then I came up with crazy ideas like LEDs in resin and um, this there LEDs in there? and not in this cardboard <laughs> oh but uh, yeah. later on <laughs> <laughs> like in the real one do they do you like have a battery yeah they have a switch cool. so th <gasps> it, it lights up <laughs> That's so cool, though. I, I want to win an award one, now. Yes. <laughs> Manu, what kind of let's, game let's are we going to win? Let's make some games. Let's make some games. So congratulations awesome, to yes. all the winners and future yeah. winners uh, yeah. who will win this beautiful cardboard. Uh, not cardboard. <laughs> not any more cardboard award. <laughs> not any more cardboard. And, I, and uh, can, can we see a final image of this, like on the website or anything? Soon. 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 <laughs> Soon. <laughs> so check out the socials. Check out the Instagram for the, for the yeah, real award. For the, for the real LED deal. Light up, yes. Creative Games Award. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> let's mm. stop talking about cardboard Why awards though? and give out the last award. Oh yes, there is one one more award that is going to be given to people. Yes, and it's the most creative game award. Yeah, yes. and as a lot of people already mentioned, it's mm -hmm. the game that. Um, empowers people to be creative inside yes. the games and i'm very excited to find out who will win this award and we will i am too give it over back to the jury exactly hit it guys yeah hello once again <laughs> uh we are helen and paolo um we're here to present the most creative game award um which is a award is an award for creative games that uh, then let the players themselves be creative. So let's have a look at the nominees. Hello. 
Oh, and thank you for the nomination. To celebrate, let's do some solo in Alicon style. guys, this is David from Ichigo Ichie. Thank you so much for having us here at the festival. When we made Hexagroove, we wanted to build something that was fast and intense uh, as a game, but also allowed the player to have lots of creative freedom to build music that they liked and it was important to them. Uh, we want you guys to do your best. Uh, please give the demo a try and we can't wait to hear what music you come up with. Thanks. Cheers. Hi, I'm Thomas. And I'm Zach. And we're from Bad Dream Games. Oh. Oh. One Hand Clapping is a 2D puzzle platformer where you sing into your microphone to solve musical puzzles. Oh, I hit that. <laughs> so are from capturing adorable fictions in Alicon to bring joy to a crowd with our tactical DJing skills in Hexagroove and literally building bridges with our voice and one hand clapping, we were once again shown what inspiring interactions are possible in games. The nominees delighted us with unique visuals, interesting gameplay twists, a whole lot of charm and food for thought. And by food for thought, we're not only talking about tossing a donut to corporal ideas in Alicon. <laughs> The Creative Gaming Award recognizes games that allow players to interact freely and express themselves with the medium. All three entries provided us with a new perspective on how games can be experienced, so the choice actually was not an easy one. Uh, the winner of this award, however, goes beyond traditional gameplay and asks players to interact with the medium in a way we haven't enjoyed before. Uh, at the same time, it also encourages players to get in touch with their own creativity and teaches them to trust their creative voice again. The most creative game award uh, goes to, drum roll, one hand clapping. <laughs> Applause, please. <laughs> yeah. Nice work, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, are we on the server? <laughs> okay. Hey. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much. This thank is you. Wow. super um, amazing. Congrats. We're so excited. Um, can you, you all hear us, right? Yep. Thumbs up if you can hear us. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to the rest of our team who aren't here. Um, and thank you to you, know, you all for hosting such an amazing event, uh, such a great festival, you know, curating all these really creative and innovative games. It's really great to have a platform for that um, and to, you know, award them. And yeah, we're honored to be here. So thank you so much. Thank you for this delightful game. <laughs> <laughs> great. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations guys. Yes, I've had a whole bunch of fun while playing, obviously, yeah. even though it forced me to sing into microphones. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, that was really great. Thank you so much, yeah. and uh, congratulations to your prize. Yes, you yes. forgot to mention that yes. you won one thousand uh, euros. I think it is. Yes, uh, yeah. as the prize money. Uh, congratulations. Yes, that's and really cool. Um, let's all play one hand clapping. Yes, please. Yeah. So this is already also like the ending, like. Yeah. We're ending this award now. We don't have any more awards to give away. Not so this year. Not next this year. year. Maybe next year <laughs> there will be more awards to give away. We will look forward to it. But before we go, we have to thank people. Yes. Yes. Um, first and foremost, uh, Game City Hamburg. Because for, for making all this possible, yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, because supporting the awards, just like Helen said, having a heart for creative and newcomers and games and in general, that's a really... Um, that's a really awesome thing to do. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we can sit here and have this awesome festival. Yeah. So thank you guys for that. And thank you to the Fundus Theater for yeah. lending us uh, the, the beautiful <laughs> VR head, yes. head, uh, head mounts yes. so that we can be a tentacle <laughs> and uh, help <laughs> ourselves. So thank you for that. Yeah, and also um, I, I guess all the other players out there that yes. we heard playing were having a blast too yeah. so they were probably thanking you too mm -hmm. and of course thank you for the Europa Passage because we're sitting in this awesome venue here um, with a view of the uh, city beautiful. and the Alster it's uh, really beautiful and we've enjoyed it immensely so thank you for hosting this for us yeah. this is uh, really great and thank you for watching and thank you for being online with us in the valley and uh, thank you to the whole team of course for yes. being here and everybody behind the camera you did a great, grand job. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. Um, the exhibition uh, is still on. Yeah, and, and the play uh, is not over yet. Yeah, it's not over yet. It's just the award show that we're ending now. So um, tomorrow is another day of play. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. The the, the, the exhibition is still open Yeah, tomorrow. you can still visit yes. the play valley, of course, like Matt showed you. Yeah. Uh, you can still walk around, uh, take a look at all the nominated games, all the honorable mentions, of course. Take a look at that. There's really a huge amount of great and cool games to find there. Yes. There's also the Machinima Cinema mm -hmm. that we got to know last year. Yes. Yes. And uh, you can find that one there, too. And you can um, also play... Not only the honorable mentions, but also fifty about fifty other games yeah. that are still there. And yeah. we still have a lot of shows tomorrow. Like we have yes. a workshop tomorrow. You can still join um, an on-site workshop storytelling in games with uh, the wonderful Sarah Fatun Heinze. Yes. And uh, you can still find that everything like uh, there is to know on the website. And uh, Michael Geithner is al also part of this workshop. Yes. So take a look at that. At uh, 2 p.m. there will be another playtime. At 11, sorry. At, oh, at 11 a.m. Yeah, at 11 a.m. it's tomorrow morning, yeah. And at uh, 2 p.m. there will be another playtime. Mm -hmm. And after that... You, s you can see us again. Yes. Us too. Yes, because we will be uh, joining the team for a review yeah. and uh, looking at the past play a finissage. days. A finissage. A finissage, exactly. Yeah. And uh, we will be talking about all the things that happened throughout the last nine days of yeah. play or eight. Was it eight? No, nine. No, yeah, yeah. It it's a lot a of days. It was a lot of days. <laughs> it was a lot of days. We have a <laughs> so program packed, <laughs> and please join us for that. Because join we'll us be at excited. 3 p.m. at yes. 15 Uhr tomorrow morning in uh, like German time. Yes. 3 p.m. 15 Uhr for the big, uh, big, like finale. Yeah, fi the finale. Well, yes, yes the finale. Yes. And a nice. Uh, maybe we get another snack. Of course, we get another <laughs> snack. Yes, <laughs> we get another snack. And so <coughs> it's not over uh, for just today, yet. As, uh, just yeah. yet, because we have a closing set from the wonderful yes. video game jazz band called Endgegner. Yeah. You heard uh, during this evening, um, they make like a big medley now of all yes. the nominated games. Uh, exactly. So please enjoy that. And after that, join us in the team. Well, no, it's not called Team Valley. It's, it's called Play Valley <laughs> for DJ DJ and Barbara Ann, yeah. and she will make uh, great music. So come with us to the to the to virtual the play dance. Valley, exactly, and dance a little because all the little meeples can yes. actually dance. Yes. See you there. See you there. Thank you for tonight. <laughs> Thank you.